Alright, so I was playing the Solo Squad game. And I was just, um, casually having seven grenades in my loadout. Looking around. Looking around. And looking around. So, I smoked out the right side because I killed a guy and then people were trying to shoot at me from there. So I smoked it out, um, to fake them out. To make them believe I was gonna go right side. Because they had, like, snipers and long range guns just in general I see this guy and then i knock him and then i try to finish him off i reload and jump and turn around to see his teammates are following me on the blue line knock that guy but he throws a grenade so i hear it last second and i barely miss it and then his teammates coming out of the blue as i'm getting shot from the snipers so I killed him, I luckily killed him in a spot that I could um, make grabbing loot off him easier. And I got more stuff from him. So at this point I believe I have 9 grenades. There's 10 hostiles remaining. This guy just got knocked to the blue zone so it might, um, might not be 9 exactly. So I see those guys because I never saw them. They just kept shooting at me for no reason. So he starts shooting at me, he misses a bunch of shots, and then I retreat back to the left side, because I'm thinking, I'll just go left side. And then a squad rolls up on the original guys that were shooting at me. I try to knock someone, I only hit the first shot. So I'm taking shots at these guys thinking, oh, maybe I can knock one. And then I realize halfway in that I can just run to the circle because they're occupied with the other squad. So I make my way down. I spot that guy on the right side of the mountain. He didn't notice me because he was focused on the other squad. And then I get up to the mountain thinking I thought that this was a circle. But it ended up being that the there these buildings over here was still part of the circle. As I check my map, I go in here to just hide out for pretty much the rest of the game if I can. And then I take this energy drink to fully energy up. And then I can replace my vest with this level 3 vest. And I go upstairs so that I can get an eagle eye view on them and maybe snipe them. So I found this extended SR. And now I can put my extended AR onto the... AK instead of having it on the SKS and as that as I switched those the The guys on the mountain all died. I thought there was still one up there. There's a duo on um, Down here with me that didn't move up to the um, Mountain And they're the last team as I'm I'm just watching to see if I can spot anybody on these mountain tops that I think are there so they threw grenades over there um because I don't think they know where I threw the grenades from because I threw them at a weird awkward angle and then I'm just looking around seeing if I can actually spot anybody since I only know there's one guy here that he happened to snipe the guys on the mountain the last survivors on the mountain So I'm looking at the time, and then I realize, oh, I should take my last energy drink, because this is probably going to be the last fight, depending on how I play it. So right now, my aim's going to be a little bit off when I fight them. And I see him when I look at that yellow house. I spot him for a split second. So my idea is to move into the circle onto the yellow houses. That are in the circle. Because I never thought about moving up towards the street. I just thought I should take buildings. Because I don't know how many people um, were on the team. If it was just a solo on my side. So I spot him. I was going to throw a grenade in there. But then I stopped. And then I throw a grenade at him. He retreats. And then I try to chase him. And then he retreats further back. And then I stop running right here so that I can have my gun readied up easier. Which was the only reason he didn't knock me. And then I go against the two worst players in the world. Defense. You guys. 